call the meeting to order of the Board of Directors of Sandy Pines, uh, June 19th, 2020. Uh, Jenny's going to start with an invitation. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this Thank you for bringing everyone here today and thank you for your participation and your time that they spend and the time that they contribute to the different meetings, the different committees, the different things, and for everybody's dedication to the same times and the place that we all know. Um, please be with everyone and help us to work together as a team. Please give us wisdom for that community and for that work. We appreciate that and we thank you that we don't have to, we don't have to rely on ourselves in the community and we want to direct us and to help us. Thank you for this day and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll stand and I'm going to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, please. Alan Carpenter. Here. Rick Day. Here. Brian Allen. Here. Jenny Hager. Here. Jim Hoff. Here. Kelly Johnson. Here. Dennis King. Here. Chad Here. And Paul Here. Paul Great. Thank you. Okay, everyone received the copy of the minutes of the May 22nd, 2020 meeting. Um, should have had the opportunity to review that. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. They're from Kimberly. Yep. So everybody, was there any changes or additions to anything that you've seen that needs to be made? I did not see anything. Okay. Hearing none, is there a motion to approve as presented? So, so moved. Second. Been moved and supported. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed the same. And that motion carries. Okay, approval of the new park members. Jeff, give us the rundown. Yes, sir. We had 52 new park members uh, for the month of um, June. I'm sorry, the month of yeah, the month of May and June. <laughs> and out of the 52, we have 13 retired and the balance are active working. Great. So, a lot of new faces, and that's great to see. Is there a motion to approve the new park members? So moved. Second. It's been moved and supported to approve the new park members. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed the same. Motion carries. Under item number eight, we have the finance. Uh, we'll be looking to approve the May 2020 financial statements for Sandy Pines Wilderness Trails. Ginny, is there anything you want to add? Um, we had a meeting finance committee last Wednesday and we actually had a quorum. So that was good. I think we got the message out that if you're going to be on the committee, we would love to have you join us. So <laughs> it, it was good. And, and yeah, you know, the COVID probably held a lot of people off or didn't know how to join or whatever, but I think going forward will be great. We have one new member and that's going well. So, um, we all, we, went through the detail of the the um, check detail we really didn't have any questions it was just the one month and um, everybody we voted to approve them as a committee both the sandy pines wilderness trails and the lake monterey golf course great thank you and then kimberly you want to give us some highlights sure and um again this is an update of may 2020 so Closer than we were last year. <laughs> so we've been working hard to try to get this information to you as soon as possible. So, um, so for Sandy Pines, um, we'll go through that first since that's the first to be reviewed. Um, Operation Cash as of May 2020 is up approximately 500,000 or 11.3% over the prior year. The balance in operational cash does include the receipt of the PPP loans 
um, funds of approximately 512,000. So part of that 500,000, um, all of that is actually in relation to those PPP loans that are sitting there. The Charles Schwab investment account as of the end of May is up again, um, 130,000, so approximately 7.7%. Total member accounts receivable balance is slightly higher by 38%. Again, that's due to the delayed extension date to June 25th, 2020 on the renewal payments and the temporary admin on disclosure. Our current liabilities is up 558,000. Um, that's related to the current liability hold of the PPP loan of 512,000. Um, we're still navigating the continued changes of the reconciliation rec regulations related by the PPP loan. The most recent changes um, that have been made provide for an extension in the period um, allowed um, for submission for reconciliation and has also changed the percentage of payroll costs and utilities um, from 60% 60, 60 for payroll and 40% for utilities to, um, I'm sorry, it's changed it to 60% for payroll and 40% for utilities from 75% for payroll and 25% for utilities. So that will help us um, significantly there as well. Um, total net income for Sandy Pines is down approximately $276,000 for 16% for prior year. Um, and that's in comparison to 220,000 just last month. So we continue to see um, that um, dip in revenue and total total net income. Um, administration is continuing to monitor monitor those losses in revenue over the course of this pandemic and social distancing restriction. Um, just to highlight on there, um, sales and hospitality itself is down two hundred thousand. Um, while the sales department is active, activity is picking back up. We are significantly behind with recouping the site rental income. Um, capping as of the end of May is down 197,000 or 57%. Um, we are, however, recognizing a turnaround in this beginning early June, so we're hoping to recoup um, a large portion of that coming forward. Member service net income is down 120,000. This is a result of payroll being up from prior year due to staff restructuring over the fiscal year, but still in line with budget and our expectations. Um, as mentioned before, the increase in our sticker revenue is tied to license plates and is equally offset by the expense incurred. So as we talked about before, we pay for the license plates and um, pay those invoices, but we've also built that out to the membership. So um, that's already taken place. Tree removal cost is up. Um, but that's due to timing and is in line with the budget. Our maintenance income is down 10,000. The majority of the decreased revenue is a result in the delay of maintenance services, but the shutdown and increased expense in relate, is related to ground maintenance costs with repairs um, completed in the off season. Public safety income is down 20,000. This change is specifically related to the decrease in gas fees with the stay-at-home order and restrictions and less than man card income. Recreational net income has slowly picked activity back up and is in line with budget. Resort services income is up 50,000. Um, operational expenses are down 60,000, with the majority related to the decrease in utility costs through May, just with the shutdown and so forth. There wasn't as much activity going on in the offices, so we recognize that there. Overall, resort services is up a net of um, 100,000, 4.5%. Parking garden is down 13,000 or 7.8%. With the garden center up and running, activity is close to normal with reduced operating expenses. Um, but we are watching the restocking um, and increase in cost of goods sold through the year. Rental income is down 40,000. Um, and that's related to the cancellation of multiple golf cart reservations related to the pandemic restrictions. And last, lease operations is down 4,000, and that's just related to the delay in the reservations of food trucks um, and the delay in our monthly due date for lease tenants just to help them through this pandemic as well. So that is my review for <coughs> May 2020 on the financial statement. Great. Any questions or comments? Anybody need anything clarified or addressed further? 
might not understand or have a question on. Hearing none, is there a motion to approve the May 2020 financial statements for Sandy Pines Wilderness Trails as presented? So moved. And moved and supported. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed the same. And that motion carries. So now we'll listen to the financial statements for May 2020 for Lake Monterey Golf Course. Ginny, anything you want to add? Um, no, I think it was pretty much the same we reviewed and and everybody um, approved those from our committee. It was unanimous. So. Great. Thank you. Kimber? Okay. For Lake Monterey Golf Course, um, as of May 2020, our operation cash is down approximately 24000 or 6% over prior year. The balance of that cash does include the receipt of the PPP loan funds, approximately 35000 so together that's um, almost 60,000, but remember that the golf course did make a significant loan payment back at the end of the year, which was a dip in the operational cash. Um, our current liabilities are down 8,000, but that does include the holding of the PPP loan liabilities. So we don't have as much um, liability there um, in current liabilities. Total gross revenue is down 12,000 or 3.5%. Um, and total operational expenses is up 28,000 or 13% compared to 42,000 or 24% last, last month. Um, the stay at home order and delayed activity on the greens has helped recoup some of that previous expense in the off season and repairs in golf course. And the, there was 24,000 related to repairs and maintenance on equipment during the off season, um, specifically 11,000 just to repair um, a single item in April 2020. Um, total net income is down 25,000, 26%, and that's in comparison to 50,000, 47% in the month of April. So you can see we're kind of picking mm -hmm. back up with the golf course from April to May. And that's my review for Lake Monterey. Thank you. Any questions or concerns, comments about Lake Monterey Golf Course Financial? Oh, hearing none, is there a motion to approve as presented? So moved. Been moved and supported. All in favor signify by aye. 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 Opposed the same? Motion carries. Under executive personnel, uh, I just have a couple comments from the chairman. Um, first and foremost, I, I again want to thank Jeff and the administration team and all our employees. Um, like, like you said before, it, it's been a very trying uh, couple months. I mean, we appreciate all the extra work. I mean, we're being Indated. We know you guys are being indated with questions, comments, concerns, complaints, however you want, uh, you know, threefold to what it normally is. And, uh, you know, we get it uh, we, and we appreciate the work that all of our employees on behalf of the board are doing. Um, it's very difficult under the circumstances, but to hopefully we can move forward and keep a positive attitude. And like we were saying, you know, for all the negativity, there's there's a thousand people that are very thankful and just don't say it. So. Again, from us, we, we, we understand, we appreciate it, and, you know, we get it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we do, and please pass along to the whole team that, uh, you know, we, we get it, and, and we're going to get through it, and there's brighter days ahead. But, uh, Absolutely. Thank and, you. and with that said, I would also like to uh, uh, reach out to the members and the guests um, and associate members so everybody knows, that, again, you know, the park's not fully functional. I mean, we get it. Uh, we're doing our best. Under the circumstances, you know, please be patient, please be kind. Um, you know, there's a lot of things going on. It's a moving ball. It's not easy. Uh, we realize everybody's life is affected. Um, if you listen to the financial statements, every department is down. You know, it's not uh, that we're making money. We're trying to do what's right because it's the right thing to do for the health and safety of all of our members and guests and visitors. And again, you know, we will get through this, but uh, just, you know, Take a deep breath and, and be kind, be patient. You know, look at the big picture. There's a lot more serious things going on than all the nitpicking about what we don't have or do have here. So just appreciate the ability that we are here, that we can use it and enjoy it and enjoy our time together. And, uh, you know, when things open up, you know, we're not trying to keep anything from anybody. We're, we're working together to try to make it the best experience we can. And we get it. I mean, there's people that are unhappy. It's it's not normal, but it's not a normal year by any stretch of the imagination. So I just ask that, again, people be kind and be patient and uh, we'll get through this. Uh, you know, a kind word goes a long ways. And thank you. 
Jeff. Yep. Um, again, Rick and board, thanks for all your guys' uh, support as well. So uh, it has been uh, an unusual season, and uh, we, we will get through it. Um, so good news. Uh, I'll try and be brief on a lot of these bullet points. Uh, so let's talk our last step in the three-step process, step three, which will be effective July 1st. Um, we're gonna, you're gonna start seeing some more events added to the calendar. Nikki Hogwin and I are uh, meeting tomorrow and again on Monday. We're gonna expand some of those events. Uh, some of the other things that you're gonna see opening up July 1st is gonna be uh, the Kids Golf League will be open up. It will be, uh, talk to Gary, so that's gonna be for the entire month of July. Um, the board of director meetings were evaluating opening up the phase one pavilion and starting to do face to face. We will have to do the uh, social distancing with, you know, mass six feet apart. We're evaluating that those should open up starting July 1st. The rental equipment. So if you've noticed um, rental equipment at putt putt golf, uh, pickleball, shuffleboard, we're um, going to open that up July 1st. Nikki and the and the team are working through plans for uh, sanitizing once that stuff is turned in. Similar to what you see in the member services office, member service office, you come in, there's a, there's a cup with a clean pen, and then when you sign and you use it, you dump it in the cup that says dirty pen. And at the end of the day, those dirty pens are pulled out. We spray them, we sanitize them, we put them in the back room. We let them sit for one or two days and then we pull them back out into circulation. Um, so we're going to do something similar to that with the, the rental equipment. Um, let's see, we're also going to do, um, this will be near and dear to, this is actually going to hit three areas that we're talking about uh, when we get into member questions, guest pass policy. So sat down with Steve and, and Keith this afternoon. Uh, the good news is uh, message sent, message received, talking to the PSO team, we've had a significantly increased amount of pre-printed passes coming through the main gate. Um, and we're going to continue that through the, the end of June. July 1st, we'll remove the $15 charge, which is really $10 for the print, $5 for the day. We're going to go back to the the original charge. Uh, however, and we will update this and put it out on a on a rave and an update. If the PSO has to place those passes in your guests' cars, the guests must have masks on when they roll the windows down okay. and interact with with the PSO team. So, I know there's a lot of concern or questions about that. Fifteen dollars is it going to go away? It was truly temporary, um, and we we are still encouraging um, that increase of people using the online pass. Continue to do it. That's the safest, the best way. I've had people comment that they like coming in that way. It's even mm -hmm. faster for them coming to the gate. So let's it's, lead with that and encourage. Awesome. Absolutely. If your guests can print, print, and right. they come right up and they're right in. It's Some a lot people quicker. may opt to still be printing rather than wear that mask mm -hmm. you know, yeah. you, you know True. Yep, absolutely. the way you message that okay yep. if you opt to do that yep this is what you have to do yep. absolutely mm -hmm. so that that'll take place uh july 1st um again trying year but some of the stuff that we had targeted for step three and july 1st we've already pulled up um the pools are going to open on monday there will be limited capacity uh steve uh nikki and myself walked the actual how is this going to work where are people going to line up um the, the only thing missing right now is an x to um sig signify the six feet apart as you're standing in line um we'll have uh we'll have it roped off up there with some of that do not cross tape uh so you're going to go in one area underneath the awning and the in the water park and then you're going to go out the double doors we'll separate that that was targeted for July 1st. We moved that up to this coming Monday, and Nikki is staffed with lifeguards, um, so we're we're good there. Um, 
Did we have to scramble to get any certified, or did we inherit some that we were inherited? Certified? Yeah, Fantastic. we inherited some certified. Absolutely, good deal. Um, the other thing that we uh, have moved up is uh, oh, we already talked about that one. Spectrum modems. Next item: spectrum modems. So we have had um, multiple conversations with Spectrum. This was a conversation that should have taken place in the fall, and at on the Spectrum side. It was uh, delayed, delayed, delayed until February, March, and then COVID came in. So um, if you're watching the recording, you might see in the background a little bit, we have multiple tables here of new modems. And um, with those modems as uh, Sue and the team, she'll draft a process procedure. How are we gonna have members come in? We'll have them come in by either appointment or by phase. And as you get a new modem, then there's there's a two year agreement that you have to sign. One of the things that Spectrum uh, would not up the, the agreement with us was one year somebody would use a modem and then the next year they would turn it in. If it's within our within that two year agreement, it's it's ours for two years and we have to keep it and, and we'll be charged for that for two years. Um, it was a difficult discussion and negotiation with with spectrum um, so stay tuned to that policy and that procedure that's going to be coming out here shortly um, the mail policy sue and team has moved the mail uh, room up to the front of the park over by pso a prox disc has been um, um, assigned to that area it is secure it is monitored with cameras we've um, notified UPS, FedEx, Amazon, um, USPS, they're going to start dropping packages up there. Um, that actually took effect June 15th and it's been slowly getting better. So that is out of the uh, admin office here and, and up front. If there's any members that are interested in um, additional mailboxes up there, right now from what I understand, we're at capacity, they're all sold, but we have room that we can expand. Um, so if we need to start taking a list of who wants additional mailboxes up there, um, we do have room to expand and we can do that. Uh, lake study update. So a lot of interest, the lake study was posted. Uh, we got a, a bunch of emails for uh, individuals that are interested in becoming part of that committee. We have seven individuals right now on the list. Uh, we'll give it another uh, few days and then we'll start reaching out to those individuals. Uh, we'll pull we'll pull them into a meeting either at the pavilion or or here in admin and kind of do a kickoff um, and and go through the the process and the expectation for this is going to be, you know, a, a short term time bound committee to come up with recommendations to how do we protect our number one asset, which is the is the lake and, uh, you know, how do we protect our beautiful Lake Monterey as well as how do we make it safe? That was another um, item that was brought up in communicating this lake study and, and receiving feedback. Um, our members want it um, taken care of and they want it safe because uh, at times during the day and during the weekends and during the holidays, um, there's areas where it may not be as safe as it needs to be. So we welcome uh, we welcome committee members on that. North Shore update, if you've been driving around, I think we have all four walls up. Um, July, you will see the roof starting to go on. There's gonna be trusses put up there. The roof will be assembled and put on um, and fabricated. We'll start doing interior uh, framing and structures. Um, and uh, electrical and plumbing. So originally that was set to take occupancy, well, to be complete by the end of this year. And then because of the delay in the supply chain from COVID, that, that has been moved to the middle to end of February next year. And then occupancy will take place uh, shortly after that, but well in advance for the, the 50th, which is what the target was for that. Um, I can't stress enough the, the team is busting their their behinds to 
um, pull as much as we can up and try and get back to normal as possible. We still have some TBDs. Uh, flea markets are still TBD. We want to have the flea market for July 4th. Um, we're working hard to try and bring that back. Uh, we don't have a green light on that. And again, when we talk about green light, that's communication with our health department, our local health department. Um, fireworks, uh, we've heard DOOR has been approved for their fireworks. Um, all of our paperwork was submitted in March and uh, we are still waiting for the permits to be signed off and approved. Um, so we're waiting, that's what we're waiting for. As soon as that paperwork gets signed off and approved, um, we have fireworks Bob ready to go. I met with him uh, on Saturday last week. He's, he's just waiting for us to give him a thumbs up. So he's ready to go. So there's some other things that we're still working on for July, but we're, uh, we appreciate to, to Rick's point, your, your patience in us and we're, we're working as fast as we can. So that's all I have. What about the radio controlled car area? So those events are, um, good question. Those events, from what I understand, happen on the holidays. We're mm -hmm. going to bring, yes, the remote control um, tournaments um, mm -hmm. will be slated for Fourth of July weekend as well as uh, Labor Day weekend. Okay. So those are those will get added back in. Um, there's um, another one that has popped up was uh, you know like a like a scavenger hunt mm -hmm. things of that nature. We're working on something similar uh, to a scavenger hunt, but uh, mm -hmm. again, Nikki and I are going to go through the the events. Yeah, if you had mentioned uh, July 4th tournaments, there was a lot of them with pickleball and tennis and volleyball and basketball and shuffleboard and horseshoes. Yep. Do we know the status of that at this point? Is that still still a little bit in flux? It's a little bit in flux. That is the the holiday tournaments, fireworks flea markets. Those are the things that Nikki and I are reviewing tomorrow and, and Monday. Okay. So they're, they're at the top of the list. Yeah. Is, it, is it safe to assume the boat safety class and the golf court uh, golf cart classes are also in flux at this for, time? For 12 year olds. <clears throat> golf cart. You guys are going right to the member question. Yeah, I well, like it. Yeah. Well, I, had, I was going to ask, apparently there's some interest in the golf cart license <laughs> testing. A little bit. <laughs> so so it, it, was, it was funny because uh, Check your email. <laughs> <laughs> Steve and Steve and uh, Steve and I were sitting in my office the other day, and all of a sudden, I received six emails back to back to back from Rick, and they were all in the on the golf cart testing. So we do we we're are them too. Yeah. Are, <laughs> really? Um, well, if I get it, you get it. That's the way this works. <laughs> right. We we are working on a plan to yes okay. do that testing. Um, Right now we're looking for a venue. We we believe it's gonna we're gonna take place here at phase one pavilion outside. Good idea. Um, and we actually have a line on some volunteers to to help with that. Uh, so Keith and I are finalizing that plan tomorrow. And the short answer is yes, it's gonna take place. Good. And uh, we'll we'll put you we'll put a time and date out there through a raid. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. And I did appreciate that most of the communication we got on that was very positive oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and very. good suggestions. That was oh, very yeah. productive. Absolutely. Yeah, and offers to help. I mean, yeah. it wasn't Absolutely. just, right. hey, why are you doing this? It's, well, how can we help? Lots, of, lots of good it was. Good Absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, very different, but welcome. For sure. Very well. Yeah. Very <laughs> <good>. <laughs> I hope so. We can help. Okay, thanks, Jeff. And what a difference a week makes, right? On the building. I mean, you, wow. right? On Monday, there's one piece, and then by Friday, it's all and it, closed it, in. I think it's been a lot of entertainment. A lot of carts pulled up. A lot of carts that pull up there <laughs> to watch. Even even today, when I drove to the rec center to walk the pool, they had one Porter Smokehouse was there. Two, they had a bunch of carts lined up eating Porter Smokehouse and then watching the <laughs> watch <laughs> <laughs> like a, like like a drive-in, right? Exactly. <laughs> Super. I love that kind of stuff to watch. Great. That. Under item number 10, old business, um, we talked uh, previously uh, last year in September about having uh, a discussion on closed work sessions. Um, there, was, there was a lot of discussion. We put it out for membership to please respond with their comments. Um, we received about three comments last fall. Uh, we talked about it again last month. 
again, please give us any feedback, uh, positive or negative, or what your thoughts are. Didn't receive anything that time, um, but it's been on the old business agenda, so we need to get that either um, move forward or, or put it to bed one way or the other. So, okay. um, for the new members, everybody got the copy of the the legal opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I told everybody I'd get you that that didn't have it. All the mm -hmm. one else should already have it. I mean, in a nutshell, it gives some different scenarios, but basically said it's ultimately up to this board, uh, you know, to to make that decision on whether it's a closed work session or open work session, and and the parameters, you know, that no decisions are made during closed work sessions, and uh, and ultimately the agenda shouldn't mirror <laughs> the, you know, it because it, it it's it's not a planning meeting for. Friday's meeting. It's a work session to discuss all types of comments and issues and, and bigger picture stuff, not necessarily what's going to be on the agenda. Okay. So I want to make sure that everybody had a copy of that. I promised you that and I got you that for your record so you can you can look through that. And uh, and then now we're going to have a discussion on um, how everybody feels that was brought up. So, you know, if, if there's a flavor that that's the way uh, the board wants to go, then we'll uh, accept a motion and we'll vote on it. If not, then we will move on. So, you know, impartial either way. Anybody want to start the discussion on Do pros we need or a cons? motion to start discussion? No. Okay. Um, actually, there were only three of us here the last time we had a closed board meeting. Uh, myself, Jenny, and Rick. Dennis. Oh, and Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Here you don't recognize him. And Dennis, <laughs> Dennis was here. <laughs> a lot of us here. Yeah. yeah well. I thought it was Moses. Uh, so the, the, the reason I, I'm for it, it's, it's not a case of uh, being open with the membership. It's that as soon as we went to open meetings, it seemed that the free flow of ideas dropped off. Nobody wanted to throw something out there and then be Facebook famous because I'll be the first one to admit I could throw an idea out there and in discussion realize that's not a good idea. I mean, with this group, I mean, we just had a meeting. Uh, you know, we've, we've had other issues where fortunately we're dealing with a room with nine adults in it and we can disagree and, and discuss things and come to a consensus. And I just think the free flow of ideas was stifled because nobody wanted to say anything that might be controversial and it'd be on Facebook before they could leave the meeting to get home. Agreed. So that's, and, that's and, I, and I'll just add that just for the history of it, like Jim said, some people are newer to the process, but um, it, forever it was always closed. And then three years ago, the discussion, it was all around, you know, a lot of things weren't discussed. And by the time things came to a vote, there wasn't a lot of dialogue at the Friday night meeting. And people, you know, perception is reality. They were like, well, you know, we didn't never even heard about this and now we're voting, you know, they're voting on something and implementing and we don't know anything about it. And that's why, you know, this board at the time when we opened it, you know, we said if it becomes an issue, you know, where, you know, we can always revisit it. That was just a, a way to try it, see how things worked out. And, you know, if it was positive or negative either way. And then, you know, we really just tried to, to work through that process to make sure that everybody, you know, it was open. And I think as a board, you know, last year we, we all agreed that, uh, you know, hey, when we are going to change a policy or something that reflects the membership's interest, we're going to, just like I said, we're going to throw it out there and say, you got a month to chew on it right. and give, give us all the feedback you want. And then we'll gather all that information and we'll make an educated decision based on, you know, our experiences and knowledge and, and what everybody's experience is. So that was kind of, you know, there shouldn't be an issue where someone feels that they don't have the opportunity and hopefully that'll continue moving forward. Yeah. But, you know, we would, we've been, like, I can honestly say this group has been very open and transparent. I mean, it's what you see is what you get, and we can talk about it anywhere, you know. So that this is a little more of the history before. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. I think two things. One, we've done a lot more communication out. So Josh has a lot of mechanisms in place to reach out to the members. So if we have a question, we're going to talk about a topic, we're going to get that out there. We can rave, we can email, you know, communication goes out so we can solicit feedback. Uh, we talked last time about giving ample time to let members weigh in on anything. So we're not going to be behind closed doors voting on something and therefore it is. We bring it to the table, we, we wait one month and then, and then allow members to give input. So I think communication bi-directionally has improved. 
by just doing that. Great. I do too. Okay, you can all look at me now. Okay. <laughs> because I'm the newbie, so I yeah. do appreciate that. No, background. absolutely. Um, and, and frankly, because we're all adults here, we can discuss it as adults and professionals. I'm still uncomfortable with it because, as and I, I frankly, because I didn't have the time. No, I appreciate you giving yeah. this to no. me, but since I was somewhat late, I didn't get a chance to read through three pages of this. But um, I'm still having a difficult time because I do understand there's always a need to have a closed session. I do understand that, as our attorney pointed out, litigation, personnel matters, and discipline of members. Absolutely, it should be there. Um, and I guess I'm a transparent guy. I come from a background where boards have, have always had open sessions, um, even when they're at a workshop. Um, that said, many times during a workshop, no one would show up. But I think to deny people that opportunity sends the wrong message. Um, again, I, I was, I, I can't speak from experience because many of you here saw what it was like when it was closed. And if it did indeed change when it was open, then I understand your concern and perhaps why you'd want to go back to the way that it was. Um, I haven't experienced that. Uh, and even when I was on boards in the past, we didn't have the potential negative of social media that if something was brought up, uh, that it could morph into something ugly. And, and my and my mood and my opinion would change 180 degrees if I did see that happen. If, if we did vote on this and agree to keep it open, if I saw something that came out, but I know the only place it came out was in a workshop, and, and it can't be stressed enough. This is strictly discussion. That's all that it is. As you said, Rick, we all know in this room there are no decisions made at, 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 in these processes. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of discussions, and, and, and you're right. I can I can see that you might be somewhat stifled, or you might be apprehensive about bringing something up where, you know, Joe from so and so. Oh my gosh, what's he going to put out on there? We shouldn't have that fear. I agree. Um, so I don't well, have that do. experience, but but please understand oh, from my perspective. Yeah. I'm still more one that says, okay, there's reasons why we do have closed sessions, but if, if absent of those reasons, I'm, I'm still more for open. Okay, I my perception um, is, is kind of different because what I saw was, um, and I come from uh, an environment with the union, all of our board sessions were closed. All of them. So all of them okay. were, because right. we, dis we, we could discuss members and you know issues and stuff okay. but what I saw when I was going to before I was a board member and you would go to a board of directors meeting especially I think the last year or so it was boom 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 you went down you discussed those items there was no discussion there was yes no votes so I think a key element of, of doing something like this is if we change the structure we need to really change the structure in which Rick did last year a lot. You know, we did, you know, more discussion in front of the people. My my concern was there's not as many people that attend the Monday meeting as do the Friday meeting. And they would come in and they'd say, what is this? And we heard a lot of that when we were running for election. Well, something weird's going on because it's just a vote. There's no debate. So if we called the Monday meeting a planning or a work session, rather than a planning meeting, then not only is it, it makes it a little shorter, but it pushes us to have our debates and discussions like this in front of a bigger number of people and give more people an opportunity to, to hear what we're saying. Whereas in the past, all this was happening at the Monday meeting and the majority of people were not hearing the actual debate. I would like to, you know, and it takes longer on Friday night, but I think it's important to give more members the opportunity to see the debate and see our opinions and and hear everything rather than just vote. As we're doing right now. Right. And, and I'm 100% behind that. And that's why some of those discussions should be in the public forum. So, so people don't see that as being, well, yeah, they just had those eight things. They just voted on them. Mm -hmm. Half hour, we're done. Right. Thank you for your efficiency. But I can understand right. the concern of the members to say, well, 
What's going on? How did they arrive at that? What's, what are right. you talking about? We need so to I can push the, the debate to Friday and use that planning session as just that, a planning session. Yeah, if we follow the work, session, work session, a work session. outline Rick laid out last mm -hmm. fall. Yeah, exactly. Of we bring it out and we make it available for our members. This is what we're thinking. Yep. And then but we're not voting on it. You Email us like you did this okay. on the golf cart deal. Email us, give us your ideas, give us your mm -hmm. thoughts so we have something else to utilize um, and, and vote on that the following. Now, there, there might be occasions where something immediately has to be done and we'll do our job and vote it on it. But, you know, we all said we wanted to be more open and more communications right. out. And I think we've accomplished that. And I think a lot of people have recognized that. I will tell you that when the three, I can speak for the three of us, we, when we ran, we gave our phone numbers, email address, we give everything so a, a member feel comfortable calling us. And I I know on my phone an email rang off the hook <laughs> by after a Monday and people ask, well, what the heck are you thinking? What are you talking about? And, and like Jim said, it might have said the color of our sky is going to be blue tomorrow, but they said it was going to be green. You know, it's one of those things. So right. I, I, I would feel more comfortable um, myself if it was closed because I like to just throw things out. But, and the the, I the that. biggest I difference between the way it was and the way we're looking at, as I understand it, that we're looking at going this way <clears throat> is that we're not going to have a planning session, on a new item, and then just come in and vote on it. If it's a new item that's going to affect the membership, the then it's going to be brought out to them that we are considering this and we want your feedback. If we're not getting any feedback on it, obviously it's not upsetting anybody. If we get a lot of feedback, that's good. It gives us something to right. look at. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's the biggest difference. It's not shutting them out of the process. It's just... Um, you only, you'd only have to be Facebook famous once and you'd fully appreciate it. I think it invites <laughs> more members to be a part of it. Right. With that 30, 20, 20, 20, 20. And, and, and that's, that's, yeah. why, that's why I say, you know, people don't throw ideas out because they don't want that, because it'll come out. Yeah. You know, you, and, I do understand what you're saying. And I, I think, say, yeah, oh, go ahead. I was going to say, go the 30 day back. window, I think, is perfect because it invites the members to be more of a part of it. Versus we work on Monday, we vote on Friday, and then the voice isn't heard. This allows them to be a part of it. They can record, I'm pointing at this, I don't know, I should be pointing at that, uh, whichever one. But anyway, they get to listen to it, they get to see the information we send out, and we give an entire month of soliciting feedback. And I think that invites more members to be a part of it. If, if, if you're right. Because no one's going to be there on Monday. Right. So there's going to be right. a, those handful that will be there. Right. And then Friday is a, is a tough spot for some. You know, if they have guests coming out, they're not, you know, cutting out that time to attend a board meeting. Right. And at the end of the day, this invites a whole lot more people part of it because we've got all those communication tools in place now, Agreed. which opens up the transparency, I think, fully. Right. Not Agreed. only that, the, the emails we receive them as soon as they come in. It's right. not like we walk in on a Monday planning session and here's 30 emails to go through and we got to look at this and, and make it. Right. We already, we're getting a vibe off what's going on just because we get all the information right away. In real time. Which is something yeah. we didn't get before. Right. right. And I think people are more encouraged to email us because they're seeing us respond to it. Well, they know what, yes. they know that the whole board gets it, even yes. though Rick responds. Yeah, well, I mean, but everybody's right. seeing the same right. information in real time, not right. and not, the responses, yeah, no, and absolutely. the responses, right? Yes. And I think the key uh, for me is to call it what it is. It's a work session, and maybe there's less of them. I mean, it, I think I still go back to it's absolutely wrong to have the exact same agenda in a planning meeting or whatever you call it. You go over everything and then to have a meeting Friday. I always thought they were redundant anyway. Honestly, I mean, there was a lot of stuff, but but I think you, the ability to have a closed work session, you know, whichever you choose to talk about higher level stuff, I mean, that's that's it. that's appropriate. I mean, that's that's what and that's the brainstorming, throwing out ideas, working through those processes, not just uh, rubber stamping an agenda on Monday for a meeting on which Friday, I, which I don't want to see. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think, that, I think we're all in agreement happened. with that. I don't think there's anybody uh, that uh, thinks that, you know, all nine individuals you know, working together for right. a collective you know, effort. I, you know, that, hopefully we're doing that. That and says that's not what we want. You know, we don't want just no. a rubber stamping of no. a, 
of an agenda, like you said, and then there's no dialogue. There's no, and it I did happen. I mean, it and it's not throwing stones, it but you went to a meeting on Friday and right. you went right down the list and there was no discussion. It was motion, approve. Yeah, yeah, you voted and you went on. And everybody in the office sitting there going, what did we just, Why are we here? What did we just learn? Why are we here? <laughs> so if you yeah. want to see a dwindling audience, that's what you exactly. do. Exactly. Right, you know. Yeah. I so hopefully. see 100 people out there right. and like, watch us discuss things. I would right. rather have right. that. And then so they, I said, I think we tried debate. to do that. It's not yes. me, but I, that was my, you know, I said, let's, no, I mean, right. let's change things. Let's mix it up. Let's get the, input. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, and again, just because you ask the same question, don't mean the answer changes, but it still gives right. the people the opportunity to have a collective dialogue, you know, and be involved in the process, whether you agree with the outcome or not, you had the, you know, right. you had the opportunity. So right. that's right. kind of where I yeah, am. Yeah, that's regardless of whether right. you agree or not. <laughs> right. That's why we're having this discussion. Right. And we're not voting today? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can bring up a motion, I guess. Right. Or yeah. another, that was yeah. the I don't know the answer. Intent. Here we are. We're yeah, I mean, a, I mean, if someone wants to make a motion, and we'll vote on that motion if there's support. That's what I'm saying. It's my, as the chairman, it was, it's been on the old business, and we need to make a decision or move on. I mean, that's, and if the group collectively is fine the way it is, that's fine, too. I mean, I'm not pushing any right. agenda. I just right. need to. Can we have a really wordy motion? <laughs> Make a well, any motion I, you want. <laughs> I think it, it just needs to have a little detail in it so that it gives us some structure. And I realize the motion is might be longer that way, but I think that that way it kind of holds us to what we're saying here, not just we're going to make this meeting closed, but to set the structure that we actually want to have, which you started last year. But I think if we put that, make that kind of official, then, then we work within that structure, and I think you know we're kind of held to it. I think it's kind of important to have something a little wordier. As to putting something out, uh, one meeting ahead, thirty days ahead, uh, unless right. it's an emergency thing that has to have be done. Right. Well, and, and to, to very call, few emergencies. That the, the, it's not a planning right. meeting. That Monday's meeting, the meeting prior to the board meeting, is a work session. It will be closed. The board of directors will introduce any issues that may be voted on in the future for part for member consideration and comment through email, and that nothing will be voted on that has been discussed outside of the board. I mean, to me, I could that that's way too wordy, but the debate needs to take place at the Friday board meeting. That's and, and more people need to be able to be there to, yes. to hear it. That's my that's my goal in this. Even the closing of the other one, you know, is is that's good. But the big agenda here is to have our debate in front of mm -hmm. the membership mm -hmm. where it should be. Just like we're doing right now. Right. Exactly. That's the way it should. That's yes. the way it should. Yeah. Just uh, and basically, as far as the debate goes, it's basically explaining how you as a board member feel about the motion before it's right. voted. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So exactly. that the people know that you have an understanding of what you're voting on, mm -hmm. probably. Yes. Because right. that comment's been made on a 22 minute meeting. Do they even know what they voted on? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> exactly. Well, you're, you're, right. you're right. Any more discussion? Does anybody want to put a motion out there, Alan? Do you want to I paraphrase? Start. <laughs> I make a motion. Are you ready, Kimberly? I'm going to be. I'm going to be good about this. Okay. I make a motion that the meeting held on the Monday previous to a board of directors meeting is changed to a work session that is not open at a close. You want to, what is close? Close. 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 Proper. where there will be no voting and no motions, no motions and no votes. And that all debate on votes will take place at the board of directors meeting on Friday. And members will be allowed 30 days for consideration and comment other than emergency issues. That won't work. Um, when you make a motion, 
Yeah. You have to you have to make a vote on it, but all all agenda items and items and well you can change we can change it to say agenda items. Yeah. Agenda items will discussed. not be will be discussed and not voted on to the, to the well, I think following or even if it says yeah, you, that no final decisions are made except in a regular special session open to the members. That was the legal yeah. opinion. Okay, me. yeah, That's we can just take right. it from there. We can take it from there. Did right. you did you what he said out of the yeah, yeah, what, he he said. Said. what he said he said I no the tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No decisions Listen, will be made outside of a no regular. No final decisions are made except in a regular or special session meeting open to the members. Yes. Right. Because that, that's the key is there is no action taken. There's no, it's just dialogue and it's high level brainstorming. It's not voting on agenda items or, you know. I second that. Whatever I said. Yeah. I know what I meant. Amen. <laughs> yeah, we know what you meant. We got the gist of it. Okay. okay. We're going really to put you on the spot and then you're going to read will be it. in the minutes, too. For the okay. Minutes. Can you okay. just give us a highlight of what it says, yeah. though, so we know what sure. we're... Well, right. Okay. Um, I want to make sure everybody's aware of what was said and what we're, we're voting on. What we're voting on, right? What we think we're voting on. Yeah. Okay. Most by carpet. Motion by Carpenter for meeting held previously to the board meeting is held to a closed session with no votes and all agenda items discussed for votes will take place at the regularly scheduled board meeting. No final decisions will be made outside of the regular scheduled board meeting. Okay. Regular or special session open right. to the members. The work session is that it shouldn't be called a meeting, Kimberly. It okay. needs to be the, the a closed of, work session. Closed, it will be a closed work session. The word, the word meeting needs to just, right. you know, go away. Go away. If she needs that, she can have it. It's underlined. That's underlined. The second half of that sentence. I mean, I don't have any problem arguing in front of people <laughs> or discussing, debating, discussing, debating, debating. Yeah. debating. The wording in the second half of that sentence about right because it yeah, yeah that was from before that wasn't okay. this but it's open or special because the board has the ability to call a special meeting i mean that's not, okay so we, you need to make sure it's identified both of those mm -hmm. and that okay, those so are open carpenter for the closed work session held previous to the board meeting is to be closed with no votes no agenda items discussed for votes will take place at the well, and then we, that no final decisions are made except in a regular or special session open to the members right right okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. and brian supported mm -hmm. that yeah okay so no? yes please there's a motion and a support on the floor for and Kimberly read it. Does everybody understand what she read before? So if there's any questions, now's the time to iron it out. Everybody good? good? Okay. So roll call vote, please. All right. Um, Brian Mellon? Yes. Jenny Hager? Yes. Jim Hawk? Yes. Kelly Johnson? Yes. Dennis King? Yes. Chad Oster? Yes. Paul Peckle? No. Alan Harper? Yes. And Rick Day? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And thank everybody for their input. It was, uh, yeah, no, absolutely. And we wanted, like I said, again, either way, we just, it's been on the docket for a while. So we need to do something, not just keep letting it ride out there. Yep. So under item number 11, new business, um, we have uh, Kelly and Alan so graciously volunteered to certify the signatures and validate the candidates uh, for this year's election. So. I will make a motion that we appoint those two to do that from the board. So moved. It's uh, moved and supported. All in favor signify, signify by aye. 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 Opposed the same. The motion carries. Is there any other new business that anybody would like to bring up? To, we have to uh, have a motion on uh, not scheduling a meet the candidates or a vote, being as though we only have three possible candidates. And not the meet the candidate for sure. The election part, I'm not. I'm not positive. I can't honestly say. We can yeah, actually. I, can I mean, can I can say. Get out of next meeting. 
I believe, in July right. because the vote. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Is the deadline passed or is it at 5 o'clock? They had to today? turn it, it in yesterday. 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 Yeah. 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 So I'm just saying, you know, I mean, the meet the candidate, that's an internal thing that we just do. I mean, that's that's nothing official or unofficial. Like right. You can change that anyway. I mean, but you the can just say we're never being on the ballot. Right. There still office. might have to be an election because of it, but that's a Joel question. I mean, we'll have yeah. to verify that we're in accordance with our rules. We don't want to do anything, yeah. that, you know, and even if, you know, because just like when there's only one person on a regular ballot or whatever, yeah, ballot. I mean, some people vote for two and not one. Some people vote for one and not the other two. You know, and that's their prerogative. That, I mean, that don't mean that they're unanimously casting a vote for somebody just because that's the only candidate. So, but we will verify that. Yeah. And well, get back just, with yep. It happened Saving all kinds of money on your campaign, Jim. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I'm supposed to. Yeah. There was well, no. Yeah. Again, and again, you know the way I've operated the last three years. We're going to yeah, ask I, the question, and that yes, way we know instead of yeah, having egg on our face later for something we don't know. We think we know. It's, it's worth asking the question. So, so I agree. No, I'm, I'm rather make sure we're doing. Yeah, it we want to do it right. So I, I've been in meetings where we've done things by acclamation, <laughs> due to the fact that absolutely you, know, you don't have the default. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is there any other new business that anybody would like to bring up? Hearing none, we'll uh, listen to the member comments and we'll continue on those. Def, did you have a list or we we already did we already list. hit them? It was the golf cart yeah. testing. Number, number sure. one was golf cart testing. We've got a plan of action for that. Number two was a lake study and, and committee. So lake study has been posted to the website, and uh, we do have seven members um, on the list to be come part of the committee so we'll follow up with pulling people together and walking them through what the scope uh, is on that and then uh, the third one was guest pass policy reevaluate reevaluate it how's it going and we progress that so i did have a question from a member last one when my wife was dragging me around the park making me walk about uh, for uh ice cream? yeah <laughs> my, no we drive for that kelly bike racks oh, Are they, is that part of why there isn't any bark bike racks out throughout the park like there normally is? Is that a COVID thing, or we just no. haven't got to it yet? Or no, um, that's that should not be a COVID thing okay. at all. So I was, I was just asked to bring that up because that, that, they're that. like, well, we got all these expensive bikes and we're just throwing them on the ground. Usually, there's bike racks placed throughout the park, yeah. at, you know, that we put them in. So yeah. I told them I would uh, follow up. Not to be I, rude, but I think with an expensive bike, you'd get a kickstand with it. Right. <laughs> Generally. Mine would, I'd be more concerned with the electric motor than the kickstand. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Wow, optional equipment? Yeah. Did you okay. custom order one? Or? No, well, yeah, last time I bought new bikes yeah. to ride in the park. And um, they, we went to pick them up. There's no kickstands. And he said, well, you didn't say you wanted one. You have to pay for those. <laughs> I, I do have uh, along yeah. the line of guest passes the the pre printed printed pack of ten that we're talking about. Have mm -hmm. we made any progress on that? We have not, and the discussion that was part of the discussion today is um, we, we were gonna we're gonna halt that because we're going back to the original okay. yeah. the original plan. Okay. So there's okay. no need to do pre printed. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah, other board sense. comments? Any other board members that would like to? address your fellow board members or ask a question or any concerns that you've heard or anything we need to talk about. No, I speak now or forever hold I, do, I will I will say one thing though. If you're going down, you know, past the FEMA building and there's a new remodeled cabin out there and oh I did that's that beautiful. Front. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Take Both a look take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. we've gotten a lot of comments about that Absolutely. as well. Give, give us your feedback when you uh, when you drive by that. Right, and, yeah. and I think it's important yeah. to yeah. note with that too that um, that vinyl siding and that's going to a maintenance free exterior yep. right. that will yep. eliminate the hanging. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it looks sharp. Sure. If, it it, if it goes it the way we, we want it to go, um, we'll start maybe okay. updating the rest of the rest of the cabins. If the funds are there, so. great. Okay. All right. Any other? Everybody good? No other comments or good to the whole? Hearing none, I'll accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Support. Second. Been moved and supported to adjourn adjourn the meeting. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Opposed, the same. Motion carries. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.